Hey everybody, Jerry Katzman here. Welcome to MasterTalentTeachers.com. You know, over the years I've gotten to work on some really cool projects on television, uh, in movies, writing, comedy and performing, uh, hosting, and recently I had this realization that the one thing that all of these jobs had in common is that they all started with a meeting. In fact, no matter what industry you're in, it is highly likely that the raise or the job or the client or the sale, whatever positive benefit that you wanted to have happen was a result of your performance in a meeting. So uh, that is why I've created this two-part video series on how to be awesome, how to be completely fantastic in a meeting. Uh, I'll very briefly, this works for any industry, what I'm about to show you, uh, but as far as entertainment industry goes, most likely, very often, the sequence goes like this. You have to be great in a meeting with a manager or an agent. Convince them that you're going to be very hireable and great to work with. If you do that, you get a reward. What's the reward? More meetings. You get a meeting with a casting director. If in that casting director meeting you convince them that you're very talented and going to be great on the set, then you get a reward. That reward is more meetings with producers and directors. And if you do great there, another meeting is your reward with network. So it took you four meetings to get the job. Now let me ask you this. There are thousands of acting classes. How many meeting classes are there? Me too. I, I haven't ever heard of one, and that's why I'm giving you this video. This is a series of best practices that I've developed over years of making every mistake you can possibly make uh, in a meeting. I've probably made half of them, and I will continue to make them. That's how you learn. But then also the successful things that I did that got me the job, I slowly started to figure out what really works. So, and then I've taught those things to my students. They've gotten great results, so I'm giving this to you in an abbreviated but effective form. So. Meeting philosophy, typically you want to focus on two things when you're going into an important industry meeting, or really a meeting of any kind. There are two goals for you. One is rapport, connection. You want to make that person go, oh my god, I get that guy and I want to hire him, or get that girl and I want a woman person, I want to hire that person. And the second is being able to talk about yourself in a way that is so compelling that makes someone just kind of grip into you and understand you in a way that I, I can only compare it to the way that Steve Jobs used to talk about Apple products, where you would he would start with this little black box and you'd have no idea what it was. By the end of what he was talking about, you'd say, I need an iPhone, gosh darn it. I gotta have this thing. That is how I want to train you to be able to talk about yourself and your career in meetings. We'll get to the rapport thing in another video, but in this video I want to just focus on how you can speak about yourself so professionally to presence yourself, which is the product, to this other person in a way that I don't know if you've been able to do before. Maybe you have. I have found that whenever I prepare for a meeting, I need to answer three questions about myself. And the great news is, is that no matter where you are in your career, these three questions, the answers to them will change. So even if you had them a year ago, it's great to refresh and think about these three. And if you've never considered them before, and I find most performers ha have not, uh, it will be a very welcome uh, clip in your arsenal. So uh, let's talk about these three questions. Let me give you the first one. Who are you like? Man, if you can answer this, you are a, a big step farther down the road than a lot of your competition. Who are you like? Like, when someone asks me, I'll take it for myself as a comedic actor, I can say to them, you know, I'm a little bit of Ben Stiller, a little bit of Jason Schwartzman, a little Adam Sandler, a bit of Josh Radner, Paul Rudd, and when I answer these questions like that, they go, gosh, you know what? That guy gets himself. He understands himself. This, this is important in business, too. Like, for example, a restaurateur might say, you know, we see ourselves as the McDonald's of Greek food. Like, he really understands what his business is. He, you can go in there to grab a fast Greek sandwich. It sounds like a great idea. I wish there was a McDonald's of Greek food. You've got to be able to know five people who are successful in your industry who you can compare yourself to. If you, if you can't, like, let's say you're going into a manager meeting, if you can't presence for them what you're like in an industry, how the hell do you expect them to be able to do that for you? It, it shouldn't be entirely up to them. It has to be about you. So here's my challenge to you right now. If you can do it, boom, off the top of your head the way I just did it, great. Well done. If you can't, I want you to pause this video right now 
And maybe you can't do it on your own. Maybe you got to call some people and say, hey, who do I remind you of? What is my comedy like? What bands are we like? What painter am I like? Whatever your business is, please do this so that people who want to manage you and help you sell yourself can sell you better. Do some of the heavy lifting for those people, okay? So pause here if you don't have that. If you do, let's move on to the second question. I'm serious. Answer this question for yourself. Know it like that. Okay. Question number two. What do you want? And who is the gatekeeper? You know, let's take it back to this acting example. It can be any business or any, any model. There are two kinds of actors and really two types of people. There are visionaries and there are followers. Let's, let's look at the follower first. So an actor would be like this. Um, you go into an, a, an agency meeting and uh, the agent would be like, well, what is it you want to do? And you'd be like, I don't know, bro. I just want to act. I just want to be a star. If you were a manager, what would you do with that type of client? Now, let's take it to the other kind of client. Well, what is it you want to do? Well, my career concept, I want to be on brainy comedies. I can see myself on a show. I want to be on The New Girl, The Big Bang Theory, and Modern Family. Now, that right there sets you apart from most actors who never even answer this most basic of questions. And I would say this for bands and performers. Whatever your thing is, what do you want? Have three goals. Then if you want to take it to Jedi level, know who the gatekeeper is. So what do you want? I want to be on New Girl. I want to be on uh, Modern Family. And I want to be on uh, Big Bang Theory. Imagine how happy that person who's meeting with you is going to be if you say, so I have to meet with Jennifer Monks, Peter Pappas, and Jeff Greenberg. That's my goal for the meet, year to meet with those three people. You're going to blow them away because you know what you want and you know exactly what you need to do to get it. You are a visionary. You are a leader in your career versus uh, someone who's just kind of waiting to see what happens. Okay, so again, pause here and write down the three things you want and the three people, the three gatekeepers to those things. Okay, last question. You're doing amazingly well. <laughs> uh, the last question is, why do you do what you do? What, what is your inspiration? Uh, you know, for me, as a kid, I used to watch television. I watched shows like Buck Rogers, Battlestar Galactica, or Get Smart, or Mission Impossible, and I just would just dream. That's all I wanted was to shoot a laser, or pick a lock, or be a, st a spy, or get in a sword fight. And then, for myself, when I get to be on Dimitri Martin's show on Comedy Central and get to be an alien or I get to be a sort of shady diamond dealer on, on, on CBS or I get to do an hour-long sitcom, a uh, half-hour sitcom on, on NBC or wh whatever the shows is I get to do, that's me living my childhood dream. So when I explain to you, man, this is what I've always wanted to do and, and when I get to do it, it's the happiest thing in my life. You can feel my excitement and you as a manager or someone who represents people would probably want to get involved because you know that every time you get me close to my goal, I get excited and I'm fulfilling something. Robert De Niro uh, said in an interview that when he was a kid, he didn't get, he wasn't allowed to express himself the way he really wanted to. So for him, acting, whether it was Raging Bull or, or any of the taxi drivers, taxi driver, any of the roles that he got to do was him releasing years of bottled up frustration, self-expression to the extreme. That's why he is an actor and he can get you enrolled in what he does. So these three questions, who are you like? What do you want and who's the gatekeeper? And why do you do this? If you can learn the answers to these three questions, maybe have a friend go over with them, maybe drill this a little bit and get, get good at answering them, then when you walk into a meeting, you're not just walking into a meeting as someone who hopes that you can get a job, which is a very weak way to walking into a meeting. You're walking into a meeting with someone who has a command of exactly what, where they're going, where they're coming from, and what they're doing. And when you walk into a meeting with that kind of confidence, calm, and self-possessedness, you become a much more powerful person, someone who is immediately more hireable and someone that people want to work with. Do you have a tip for great meetings? I hope you'll post it underneath. If you have any questions that we can answer, please do. Please remember, I send out tons of great information like this and even better. This is, this is nothing, you guys. I send out great information at my website, standupcomedyclass.com. I, I implore you to go there right now and sign up for my email list and my newsletter. And look at all of the great people on this website. Special shout out to Suzanne Lyons, uh, who's a fantastic career coach who gave me the inspiration for that second question uh, in a class that I did with her years ago. 
anything you need. We are right here to help you at mastertalenteachers.com. Let us know what you think.